Hello everybody! Welcome to Edgy Vlog. So this is the third dream. I just finished doing uh, podcast number 44 episode. <laughs> so yeah, that was really healing. Really wow. And if you hear it, it happened a little bit halfway in the in the park. <laughs> and then I thought it was gonna rain. Well, it looked like it was raining. It was thunder. It was like rainbows and all kinds of things you're probably i'll probably post the in the stories uh about the rainbow but i was literally guided to go record part of that podcast and then i was like literally i had to get out of there and then when i got here it just didn't rain at all anyways that was done and i guess it was good because i had a little bit of energy to do dream number three that I was guided to do so. But first, I want to clear it out. But first, yes, the dream number three, this is what it's about. So you will see it in the next, because I recorded it before here. <laughs> I was guided to do it in the water as, um, you know, for protection energy and all that. But other than that, guys, the energies right now in the Lion's Gate. <laughs> so, Anyways, this is the three number three and what it's about. All right, so the third dream was another scenario. I had to protect the Holy Grail, a girl uh, uh, with black curly hair. Um, I was some type of warrior or something like that for her because I remember I look at my armor and I had like a sword or something like that. Uh, and I confirmed it with God with this and I was like, are you sure I can? It's like, yes. So some of you could be that, like, yeah, you're uh, a warrior in the spiritual realm. You're supposed to protect somebody, okay? Uh, it could be a girl, it could be a boy, or it could be, uh, I don't know, someone with, uh, or maybe that was a test for me that I had to protect someone. So, and he kept saying like the Holy Grail because this girl was shine, like she was so shiny, like even her skin, like everything, but she didn't know. She was so humble and like, she didn't know that she was like, like a star sea or chosen or something like that but we had to protect her um a person's name frederick they kept saying frederick so it's the first time i actually hear a name on on my on my dreams so if you're frederick i don't know but or you know someone who's named frederick they're supposed to protect a girl or something like that but also i felt like i had to protect this guy too a person named frederick also need to be protected who is connected to the girl so this could be a father a single father or something like that or this could be a grandfather this could be an uncle um they necessarily have to be related they could have been like maybe um i don't know maybe this frederick guys know something some of you could have that in your name or you know someone but frederick is the first time i hear an actual name and i actually have to ask god like are you sure like should i say this and he's like yes so there's a Freddy connected to me you need to protect a girl or someone like you need to stop being stubborn i'm hearing and let people protect you uh probably you probably are in the uh, witness protection or something like that or i don't know you witness something and you're probably going to be protected uh, not only in the justice but also spiritually okay so yeah um and then in that dream before frederick came up like I was protecting this girl, okay? So in this dream, there were creatures, okay? There was like really creepy creatures, like they looked like worms, okay? Uh, and they were merging to, and they were like, once I tried to like uh, hit them with my sword and stuff like that, they became five, five of them, okay? And at one point, this five, listen carefully, worms and five, okay? If you've seen five, five, five a lot, worms, we're gonna look at the meaning of that, okay? And then they start as they, as they, as they were dying, they combined together and form a strange dog. So I thought they were dying, these five pieces, after I destroyed this really creepy creature. And then as they were like uh, dissolving, they combined together these five of them and turned into a dog. Okay? With red bright eyes, who, who afterwards disappears. So we saw the dog with the red wire eyes and it disappears after. Then it says, once Freddy Krueger was found in the same room with this girl, I had to sat them down and explain to them what happened, something. I was explaining them something that happened or something that I needed to. So some of you will have to explain to these people what is going on in their life 
like some of them are not going to be spiritually woke or they're not going to understand what's happening but i feel like these people are psychological psychologically attacked but also uh, um physically they could be okay so we'll look into that um and then a strange dog came back again but it was a different dog it wasn't the same dog as we saw uh it was just like it was just staring at me like not moving just staring like this like just staring and it wasn't a big dog it was a small dog it looked like a those poodle it's not poodle is it poodle like they have a small face and big eyes it looked like that yeah um then all of a sudden i had the ability yeah so all of a sudden my my vision shifted like i was able to see infrared like you know when you see infrared when you see the heat of people like if they're hot or cold but you only see like uh it's like infrared like blue and and dark purple or and if it's they're too hot it becomes like bright red or yellow right when they're really hot so i was able to see my eyes shifted so i wanted to i guess i could have the ability that to see that if the dog was a good dog or not okay so some of you you could have this ability as well but it's not like i think the infrared uh, connotation was just to let you guys know that you once you're awakened you're able to see uh, evil spirits from within inside the people and you either have the authority to rebuke it you either can rebuke it or send it back to hell or you know what i mean caught the the head of the serpents i'm hearing yes you have that ability you have that authority okay that's for some of you specifically chosen okay this is why you're being trained this is why you're being isolated you've been you know having that relationship with god is because you're meant to to have this um he's training you okay warriors are trained okay and that too he's making sure that your heart is pure making sure that you have a good heart that you have integrity that you're honest that you know your worth that you know what i'm saying that you're taking care of yourself you know what i'm saying that you have peace in your heart that you're forgiving okay that you don't have negativity or or low vibration or you're not lowering yourself and you're not leaking your energy he's testing all of y'all he's testing also your faith if you have faith or not right right so yeah, so I could see that the dog had a weird thick ass, <laughs> real thick ass warm, like in his leg, like it goes from his, uh, yeah, his left leg that will be so long, it will go into his stomach. So it's this big, thick warm, and it was so, like you could see it was red and like it was hot, right? You could see it. And the dog, I don't know if the dog was aware of this thing. I don't know, but it was just like all the way to his stomach, okay? So I scan them, I scan, and then I go and look at them and I scan everyone and everyone was cold, like no sign of any heat on their body. Like they were had a normal temperature, let's say, right? Or some of them were cold, like they couldn't, I couldn't see any heat in them. They didn't have anything, right? They had like, you know, their regular selves. So I was like, okay, so I see why them is different. And then this dog, it's not a good dog, right? So I started to point this dog, I opened the door so a door can be significant when you open the door and then I start telling the dog get out and it wouldn't leave it wouldn't leave okay so I, I commanded it to leave in a strange language I don't know I can't say the word specifically how I said it but it was a light language it was like a different language that only um, earth angels or people who have this type of gift are able to say this specific language to command demons to leave to get out right um so yeah it says to leave in a strange language and it started to move but growling like hi <laughs> look who's here thank you for your beautiful protection so yeah i commanded it to leave in a strange language and it started to move but growling it didn't want to leave once i closed the door i woke up so it didn't want to leave it was going like <laughs> like that like you know like just just fucking demonic you know what i'm saying like ugh and right away as soon as i closed the door i looked back and then i woke up so now we're gonna look at the meaning of that all right all right so by now you already saw dream number three what it's about okay so we're gonna decipher a little bit deeper together um like i said you can do your own research about specific words that i mentioned in that dream but definitely um we're going to go deeper into it and I'm going to clarify with some tarot. I do have some tarot here that we can use as well. 
uh, these are actually with charge in the park so they feel really um, they feel really good so we're gonna use it for this but other than that I kept hearing that it, this message have to do something about more about how to use the sermon and listen to your intuition more because not everything that you think that is nice or that it's you know that is if that is good for you okay or that it's meant for you okay so something about listening to your intuition more and yeah using that sixth sense you know We'll say more of that feminine energy that has been repressed as well, which is interesting. I talk about that in the podcast as well. Number 44. Again, thank you, universe. Thank you, God. I feel like this message is going to be for somebody who really needs to hear this. Okay, so I'm praying that this reached to the right person at the right time. Okay. Uh, it's interesting enough week I couldn't find most of the stuff, but some of them I did. So we're going to go with number five. Okay because there were five weird warm things okay let me see for the dream i know the dream that i could only find dog yes we found dog okay so if you found dog awesome too uh the door right the closing and the opening of the door so i found that and what's the other one and warm right the weird warm inside the dog's stomach i couldn't find stomach so some of you, if you've, you know, found it, like something about a stomach, I couldn't find that. The only thing I could find in the symbol was dog again. So dog could be significant. Dogs are loyal, trustworthy. They're friends, right? So it's interesting that it's letting us know that you have to recognize when someone is loyal and someone when it's not. Okay? Yeah something about loyalty here which it's so sad that a lot of us don't know and number five yeah that's the one that i found so i can only find dog five and warm okay and door okay so for others of you if you find uh stomach maybe i'll go get uh, you know what? i'll go get my i'll see you i'm gonna help you with this okay so i was able to find it something about dream about a stomach warm so we'll get into that, but I found it somewhere else. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing is... I'm going to do the number five first, okay? So five can be significant. Five also means change, okay, guys? Uh, transformation... Five can have many meanings, okay? But definitely, uh, this was guided. So blessing in disguise, okay? So some of you, it could be something that is happening right now, but it could be a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and an infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best ways, okay? Okay, so five here says... Interesting, five. Because human beings have five fingers on each hand, five toes on each foot, and five senses to perceive the world, the number five represents mankind. The fifth element does exist. It is not just an idea for a film dream up by a screenwriter and filmmaker. <laughs> that is my favorite movie. <laughs> I swear. Let me know in the comments if you love The Fifth Element. Okay? It's one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. Okay? 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 <laughs> okay. It was de defined by the Greek writer Plutarch in the first century AD as follows. Supposing that the world in which we live is the only one which is what Aristotle believed. It is, it is itself at least composed of five worlds that comprise its harmony. The first is earth, the second water, the third fire, the fourth air, and the fifth heaven. This last being called light by some, ether by others, and quintessence finally by yet others, 
Plutarch Parallel Lives. Mm. The five senses and quintenses. If according to Greek philosophy, the harmony of the world was composed of five elements, the Hindu also believed that man, the micro, mi, microcos, microcos, yeah, microcosm, is made up of five main properties comparable to the five major elements that make up the created, manifested world, the macrocosm. These five elements are called sa sakara, literally meaning groups or aggregate, aggregates. They are as follows. Sang ah, bear with me, I'm going to try to say this. <laughs> Skanda, skanha rupa aggregate of matter or group of corporality composed of the four elements solid earth liquid water warmth fire and movement air each of these primordial elements is connected to one of the sense organs and its faculty the nose and sense of smell for earth the palate and sense of taste for water the eye and sight for fire and the skin and sense of touch for air. The ear and sense of hearing are associated with ether, the fifth element. That's what we tell you, listen to your intuition, listen to Gaia, listen, it's because we, have, we all have it. You just have to learn how to tap into it. Sa Skanda Vedena aggregates of sensation or groups of perception composed of all types of feelings whether pleasant painful or neutral for mankind these are like doors opening onto the outside world sang sakanta samjna aggregate of awareness or group of mental formations broken down into six distinct sense objects Form, sound, smell, taste, physical sensation, and mental perception. Sank, skandaha, samkara. Aggregate a concept of group of action bringing together all levels of psychic and instinctual activity. As expressed by desires, feelings, emotions, actions, attention, concentration, reasoning, judgment, will, spirit, of initiative, the power of to act, joy, etc. Skandha Vishnana, aggregate of consciousness or a group of knowledge bringing together the six fields of activity of the consciousness or mind that encourage the acquisition of knowledge. Interesting enough, my episode 44 is all about inner wisdom and talks about that to assess in your inner knowledge. And then which goddesses also are giving you some messages there too okay so it will be in the description below if you're interested to know about episode 44 because it's definitely connected to this okay interesting enough right so each sensory each of the sensory is like psychic ability is used as a tool or instrument for identification and learning so we have awareness of smell earth taste water sight fire touch air hearing ether or the fifth element and mental awareness this leads to the bold deduction that according to the hindu doctrine mental awareness which encourages self-awareness may be what we in the west tend to call the sixth sense the quintessential distillation of all the faculties gifts elements and qualities of the five senses this mental awareness is in fact a type of extrasensory perspective faculty that enables us all of all to realize that ska, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but sakandha or aggregates as described above are mere illusions. As stated in the preceding test, the five groups of existence, either taken separately or combined, in no way constitute a real ego entity or subsiding or subsiding personality and equally no self soul or substance can be found outside of these group as their owner as their owner in other words the five groups of assistance are not self anatat nor do they belong to a self anataniya 
In view of the impermanence and unconditionality of all existence, the belief in any form of self must be regarded as an illusion. The world of the Buddha, compiled, translated, and explained by Nayana Tiloka. Tiloka. Wow, that's cool. Well, this five is uh, interesting. It, it goes a long way. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, and share, and subscribe so other people are able to find this video, okay, this message, okay? So it could be significant for not just you, but other people, okay? But yeah, very interesting, right? The synchro foil and the pentagram, okay. I don't know if this is related, but it says images and symbols relating to the number five. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so here's symbolic profile of the number five, names quinary, fifth, quintet, quintuple, and all name precise with pent from the Greek pente, meaning five, pentagon, pentateuch, pentecost. Arithmetic correlation with the letter of the alphabet, E, N, and W could be significant. Correlation with the letter numbers of the Kabbalah, hey, hey. Hey, H A Y. Astrological correlation: Aries. The color blue. Geometric symbol: pentagram or five-pointed star and pyramid. So that could be significant. Blue could be significant. Now that I'm looking at it, like the girl had a blue dress. The little girl. She was wearing a blue dress. Yeah, she was wearing a blue dress. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, what else? It says number five as a number for mankind. The petrograph becomes the navel of the microsome, the result microsome. Yeah, this is go way deeper, guys. It says the sum from which results a perfect number for God is actually a fusion, a union, a communion of the number five with itself. The synchro foil, the symbolic representation of the pentagram, therefore represents not only humanity, the micro microcosm in the guise of the five pointed star, which naturally symbolize men standing upright. Interesting. His arm and legs upspread, but also the universe. The microcosm in the guise of the five lobes corresponding to the five elements governing the world. Last but not least, it should not be noted that the pentagram, as his name suggests, it is the fifth letter, that is the letter He, in the alphabet, the letter numbers used in the Kabbalah. I don't know about the Kabbalah, honestly. Do you guys know about that? Or is it significant for some of you? That could be it. I don't know. Need to research more about that because I know that there is some dark side of the Kabbalah, but also, I don't know, the light side of it. But I know the dark side's kind of weird. I don't really know about the dark side either, so I gotta do my research on that, okay? And maybe that's for some of you. This is this was the symbol of breath, the essence of life, the seat and vehicle of the soul and the spirit. The Egyptian hieroglyph corresponding to this letter show a man standing his legs spread, raising his arm towards the heaven. Interesting. All right. So we read about the symbols of that, of five, okay? So let's look at the dream, what it signifies for dog, okay? Let's see. Okay. So when you dream about a dog, same as with any animal, the symbolism can connect with a particular quality or characteristic of the animal. Some dog qualifies Qualities are like loyalty and approval seeking are easy connections for dreams to make. Dogs are also protective, sometimes demanding. They can be expensive and yappy. Start there and branch out. <laughs> okay. Dogs are used as symbolism in dreams more frequently in relation to their positive association, especially companionship, friendship, and devotion. Dreams can show something to be lacking. Two, such as when a dog running away symbolizes loss of friendship. So there was no running away. I had to kick him out. So dogs are man's best friend. That popular association can be used to describe something about a particular friend, the subject of friendship, or what sort of friend you are. 
the possibilities for symbolism are extensive so that's what i'm saying take what person and leave the rest guy we can confirm it with tarot but i feel like this dream was very specific for someone for example a black dog can symbolize the shadowy mysterious or dark aspects of a friend a sick dog can symbolize like nope a dead dog can symbolize his dying or dead of friendship so that could be it a dead dog can symbol because while the first dog was kind of like dying but it disappeared right but here it goes a growling dog a growling or attacking dog can indicate a conflict with a friend so some of you could be conflict with somebody or someone could be a conflict okay or some of you are dealing with someone very conflicted right no buying a dog no a friend's dog in a dream to represent the friend no oh the friend frederick that was very clear by by the way in that dream like there was a name i never had names in my dream and i had to confirm with them like who like he just didn't tell me who did because i don't know who frederick is but he said to mention yeah just mentioned frederick so maybe frederick your friend or if you're a single dad if you have a girl or something like that you need to watch out by a friend some someone's not loyal to you or something like that like i literally have to kick this person out or maybe the dog was a representation of you having a dog or maybe your dog is sick or something like that i don't know frederick you'll know what your what your message is about you know your life okay uh but yeah a giant dog it was a small dog being followed by a dog can symbolize a friend who is a follower ignoring a dog can symbolize ignoring your instincts or ignoring a friend being forced to kill a dog can symbolize pressure to do something that can jeopardize a friendship I wasn't forced to do it like the dog was attacking it was creepy as fuck there are figures of speech to consider too like going to the dogs hair of the dog also consider the breed of the dog in your association with it a bloodhound yeah it was a blood it was a bloodhound no can symbolize being on the scent a doberman can symbolize alertness a yapping poodle it was a poodle it wasn't a poodle can symbolize something small and annoying a bulldog is relentless it looked like a but it wasn't a bull it was the one with the eyes and the face like i wish i could know the, the breed of this dog a dog peeing on your bed nope because dog run in packs dreaming about dogs especially pack nope that's not it here a barking dog he wasn't barking he was growling like you know yeah, growing and attacking can indicate a conflict with a friend. Yeah. Who was not a friend because I had to kick him out. He has something inside his stomach, which we're going to check it out soon. But a dog bite to the leg. No, he didn't bite. See, a dog fight because he, he didn't want to come out. He was kind of like fighting to come out, but it wasn't really a fight. But it says symbolize the conflict, a conflict of interest between friend or in a group okay so definitely we're seeing something that someone's not loyal someone's trying to create rowdy conflict and stuff like that okay let me continue with the symbols since we have also the symbol of the dog here okay so it says it is generally believed that the dog is the direct descendant of the wolf however it appears that man's best friend thought to have been domesticated in the middle east in the 11th millennium bc and known to have been domesticated in europe in the 7th millennium bc it's a type of canine resulting from a strange cross between the wolf jackal and coyote all members of the family Cana canada this is why myth associated with dogs often involves references to these three wild animals depending on the origin of the myth in question. But whatever the myth or type of canine, it appears that the dog was the first wild animal to have been domesticated by human beings. Okay, so won't be feeling domesticated? I don't know. There is one question that so f has so far remained unanswered. What is it, what it in fact humans who tame and domesticate the dog or was it this naturally opportunistic creature that over the ages and for readily understandable reasons instantly drew closer to human tribes and communities the evidence tends to support the second theory the dog is frequently associated with nocturnal myth and symbols dark and obscure worlds the underworld and even death the ancients regarded the dog as the guardian or god of the dead 
uh, as in ancient Egypt, for example, where Anubis was the canine or jackal-headed god of the dead. It was as if the dog, this wild carnivorous hybrid wolf jackal coyote that usually hunted by night and was also associated with the moon, had emerged from an unfathomable and terrifying depths of the earth to negative to negotiate with their ancestors and take advantage of them, enjoy the bounty of their hunting and the warmth of their fires. Our ancestors who saw signs in all natural phenomena could not fail to recognize the significance of the fact that this wild animal, possibly the first with which they had experienced this type of relationship, not only accepted their authority, but also demonstrated a typically human characteristic, greatly exaggerated in the dog, fear. For these reasons, although the appearance of a dog in a dream often represents the darkest, wildest, most impure, untamable, and more amoral side of our nature, it can also symbolize the most loyal, affectionate, and submissive side. From this, it is self-evident that the dog has been endowed with many often contradictory, contradictory characteristics. The dog also represents excessive heat and all-consuming, devastating passion, an image that gave rise to such expression as dog days, used to refer to the hot period of summer and calculated by the ancient from the helio rising of Sirius. Sirius, the dog star. Is not that star that we're looking at in the Lion's Gate right now? Wait a second. <laughs> yes, it just happened. It happened. The it's called the Cyrus Getaway. Yes, I even posted. Ah, uh, reading about this. It happened. Okay, it happens every July from the three through the seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yes, the helical rising of Osiris, the dog star, in astrological terms, cynic or cynical from the Greek known meaning dog, means relating relating to Cyrus or the dog star. Figuratively, it means believing the worst of others, and obviously the rise from the negative side of the dog's nature. The dog is therefore a symbol of the beneficent instinct that protects and the maleficent instinct that endangers. A dog prowling around you in a dream signifies that a new and unexpected event, which can be either positive or negative, is about to occur in your life. Being bitten by a dog is a warning against a potential enemy. So he didn't bite me. Although it looked like he was just looking at my leg ready to attack, but he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't dare. But... That could be a confirmation. So something might happen or something is going to happen, which is why I had to protect this girl, this child from this dog, this thing, Frederick, this person. I feel like I already, it was me or other people or somebody in a dream. We had to protect these two people specifically. And yeah, that's crazy. All right, so that's that dog. Five. Okay, so the other one was that I had here. Door. But we wanted to see the worm in the stomach, right? Because the other one that I have is The home, uh, for the home, uh, guys, it's in dream one and two. If you want to know the definitions of the home, you can just go script it and check where the home part is, and then you can see it, or you can find it your own definition of it, okay? Uh, but before I go to the door, let's see what it says about the stomach. So it says, dream about stomach warms. But first, the warm, where is the warm? Did I have the warm here? Yeah, here, okay. So warm here, generally dreaming about warm is a bad omen. Be on the lookout for fake friends and acquaintances who might be out of Sabbath to sabotage you. Can't make this up, yo. Dreams about worms can also be forewarning you to prioritize your mental and physical well-being. Dreaming about worms is not all doom and gloom. It could signify great success. So depending on what. But it was one thick ass warm. Like, and I can only see it like it was inside the dog. So I can only see it when I was see my eyes infrared so i will see it like super hot and warm and stuff 
I can't get out that image out of my mind, honestly, but it was disgusting, okay? And it was inside the dog. Okay, anyways, a common use of the symbolism of a warm is to represent something warming into you. It's usually something you don't want or even something that disgusts you. Okay? I, I hope this is makes it very clear, okay? So someone who, okay, so we're looking at a dog and a thing inside the dog, but it looked like the dog wasn't aware that it was inside the dog, okay? But it was thick and warm and like it was, it looked like a negative spirit, okay, inside this dog. So it could be someone that maybe they were loyal, they're, um, they're good people maybe, or maybe they're just pretending to be good people. They just bring a lot of conflict to you. They're not loyal and they have this negative energy inside. Maybe that could be a warning for some of you that you need to be, this is why you need your intuition because this person could be really good. Like all narcissistic abusers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because not everybody's narcissistic abuser, right? But they all have tendencies, right? They all have the traits of it, okay? But you really need to use your intuition with this and use discernment because this person, whoever you have to deal with, could have something inside that it's not good to have around you, okay? So this is a warning for someone. Uh, warms around the head and face, no, it wasn't. Warms in your eyes, no. Warms around your heart, can symbolize feeling eating at you or something trying to warm in your heart, such as suitor, no. In your ears, ooh, no. On the other hand, warms associated with mother nature and ability to survive. Cut a warm in half and it becomes two warms. They're really amazing creatures when you think about it. Ooh, oh, I don't wanna think about it, I don't know. <laughs> Finally, warms are associated with bait. They can symbolize something used to lure and emphasize. Yep. That's it? That's all they had? Okay, so let me read you what they had. The other reading about it that I found. Okay, so it says, dream about a stomach worm. It's a sign for a few, for a new or emerging knowledge. You have compassion for others. You are avoiding the truth. Your dream points at your high level of confidence. You are standing on solid ground. Okay. So stomach warm is a signal for the renewal of life and reflection of your own past. Perhaps it is time to make a fresh start. You're experiencing a spectrum of emotion. This dream is a hint for an as as aspect of your personality that you want to work on. You're seeking to bring joy into your life. Don't we all? So that could be for you. That could be for me too. You know, take what rest and I leave the rest, right? Use the sermon. But that's definitely something that we all want to do, right? We want to bring joy into our life and stuff like that. So, hey. So a stomach, stomach in your dreams is a signal of a fear of an imbalance in your energy. Perhaps you're feeling guilty about something or that person could be feeling about something that they did to you or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Perhaps you're expressing concern because if you have nothing to feel guilty or anything about, then I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the other person that you're dealing with, okay? So look at it, that's how you learn about this sermon, okay? Now, if you're feeling guilty about something, then this is for you, right? There's something that you're trying to hide or something like that. You're trying to, you know, perhaps you created some conflict or drama or something like that. And you don't know why that come from, but it could be that, you know, you need to do some work on, within yourself, right? Right? Okay. But if it's not you, then don't get rowdy in the comments. I will block you. I'm serious. You guys, seriously, you need to heal. You need to deal with your own demons, okay? And stop projecting because everybody's in different timelines. Everybody's not in the same energy as you are, okay? And that's it. If you have something inside of you, you need to take care of it, okay? Also, when you get rowdy and you try to jeopardize, oh, that's not my reading. That doesn't resonate. I don't, I don't need to know. That's your business. Go do something else. Go watch something else. You know what I'm saying? Because just because it doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean it's not going to resonate with somebody else. Right? Also, for those who feel the need to say, oh, this does not resonate with me. I don't care. I will refuse. <laughs> I'm like, you don't have to tell me. I don't care. If it doesn't resonate, then move along. Because it will resonate with other people. Thank you for 
You know what I'm saying? It doesn't need to, it doesn't, it doesn't go for you. I'm telling you guys, this is why my comments are, have to be viewed by me and the most high. You're revealing yourself. All these karmics now on all my readings, like you guys are insane. But that, I know it's my light irritates your demons. I know it's your demon talking. It's not you. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Like, I'm serious. I don't care. I know your energy. I can feel your energy before you even write the comment. Okay? Seriously. Go heal. Go deal with yourself. And you don't have to answer. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? Or demanding that you want a reading for your divine masculine. Excuse me? <laughs> This is why maybe you're the bad masculine who had nothing to do with you because you're karmic as fuck. I'll just, just say, heal. No divine masculine go all oh, goals. If it isn't divine masculine, they're not divine masculine. That's someone low vibration and goes into a karmic and they haven't learned the lesson and they're repeating this lesson with you. Okay? Divine masculines, they're not low vibration and they don't hang out with low fucking karmics. They learn their fucking lessons. Okay? They're just working on themselves and healing on themselves. And if you're here to jeopardize their, their parade, divine mass and divine feminists, please leave. I don't care. Just leave. Okay? You don't have to watch. We're here to heal. We're not here to, to be on their fake ass shit and stuff like that. Like, seriously, you guys are like, come on, heal. Ugh. Anyway, stomach in your dream. Perhaps you're expressing concern about losing touch with someone around you. This room is your wish to escape from your present reality. You need to delegate responsibility and duties. Stomach in this dream is a sign for a negative turn of events. Perhaps you're in denial about something. You need to take time out and pamper yourself. This dream symbolizes where you stand in your personal relationship. Your true self is out of touch with reality. That's... I'm just going for stomach. Now warm. In a dream signals an ever-changing situation. Perhaps you are too harsh on yourself or on others. Perhaps you're too harsh with your dog. Hey, if you have a dog, come on. Be nice. Okay? Like, come on. Come on. Perhaps that dog is in such a low vibration for the way you guys are treating this dog that they already, like, there's a demon inside this fucking dog. Because that's how demons get in, is by low vibration. Having fear, lack, trauma, sadness, abuse, all that shit. All the low stuff that you can think of, that's what attracts a demon. Okay? So if you're in that low shit vibration, also uh, generational curses from past life, that too. Mm -hmm. Don't think that that doesn't come into this life. You have a lot of karma dead in the past life, forget it. You're, you're paying it here. That's what you're here for, right? Choose to pay for it, right? Also sacrificing. Mm-hmm. Don't think for a second that all of us here have sacrifices to do to pay those karma debt. Okay? Okay. Nobody here is more special than nobody, okay? <laughs> Come on. Now, perhaps it is time to acknowledge your former wrongdoings. Mm. Your dream points to your anxieties of life. You're trying to escape from the problems of your daily life. Warren, dream means your ability to act quickly on your feet. Perhaps you wish you had taken a different path in your life. Perhaps you're in a rut. The dreams is repress anger, frustration, and annoyance. Because that's what the dog was doing. Like, I didn't want to get out. You need to take better care of your health. That's straight up. Dream about both stomach and warm is unfortunately an alert for violent rage or sudden anger. So you could be having a, if you've been treating a dog bad or something like that, or someone that, you know, someone who is violent and rage, you need to be careful, okay? You need to remain calm and don't panic. You may have allowed some situation to take a turn for the worse. This dream is sadly a warning alert for temporary trouble due to some misunderstanding of your action and conduct. Your ideas may be lost in the clutter. Dream about stomach warm means your willingness to compromise your beliefs towards a greater accomplishment. You need to go ahead and post a message or mail a note to someone that you loved. That you loved. There is some strong force that is inconveniencing you in a situation 
The dream symbolizes spiritual and emotional protection. You are choosing pleasure and an instant gratification over working on your future goals. So there's many meanings there for all of you. Many messages there, okay? All right, so let's see. I think that's about it, right? Because I couldn't find... Oh, okay. So yeah, the verse for you guys, they're saying... Oh, there's a verse for you. Okay. So there is a verse for you. So Psalm 103, uh, verse 12, okay? And interesting, that's the word of the day for tomorrow. So 12, okay? As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. That could be significant for someone. If you want, just read Psalm 103 so you can read the full... Um, the full message what is this publishing what anyways that was that okay so let's see i can confirm some of it with tarot see if there's anything you need to know about this we did the dog we did the warm yeah that's really it all right so a spirit angels and ancestors Thank you, Angel Michael, for protecting us the highest white light. Please let us see what we need to know about this third dream. What is it that concern? Man, male. Okay. So this could be the Frederick guy. Very strange. Some of you can have that in the middle as a middle name or something like that. Or know someone who's named Frederick. Like maybe warning about something like something about a dog or someone who's not loyal to them or something like that anyways this message maybe this for that specific frederick guy but it could mean this message for a lot of people but specifically if there's a frederick here you need to i can't make this up i can't make this up <laughs> i can't those who are uh Kind of like, oh, I don't believe the tarot card and stuff like that. I just show you. It's exactly what I dream. I dream of Frederick and a child, a little girl. And look what it is. So some of you could be dealing with that. See, going on a journey. Some of you, that's what it is. When I close that door and, ah, oh, that's what we, we forgot about the door. Oh my God, we forgot about the door. When I close that door, I knew that this guy i had to take them somewhere or someone had to take you somewhere so you guys both are going on a journey this could be a single father with a child it could be a girl or a boy i don't know but in my dream i saw a girl with a blue dress you see it's interesting that she's wearing a dress 18 can be significant 18 days first day of the month january 18 i'm hearing Where's the door? Yeah, here, door. So, wow. Okay, journey, and then it says thought. Someone's thinking of someone. I feel like this person is thinking of this main female. This mature man. Interesting. Some of you could be dealing with... Uh, or somebody's a concern about children or something like that. This man, male or something. But definitely about a child. I don't know if that Frederick was the father of that child because they were completely different. So it could be this person who is maybe concerned about a child or concerned about children or something like that, but maybe from another person, not they're necessarily their child that they need, they're feeling compelled to protect, okay? So the symbolism of a door in a dream can connect with the idea of stepping into a new era of life or having new experience, which are commonly depicted as walking through the door. Door associated with choices. When you dream about making choices that can be visualized as you having a number of doors from which you choose. For example, you can choose among schools, subjects to study or places to live. You can subconsciously know what's behind the door and what picking one means. A door can be used to make choices about what sort of person you are or will become. For example, a woman with a limited sex life dreams about being in a red light district with her 
girlfriends just for fun and she sees a beautiful woman on display behind a window next to the window is a door and she knows what's going through the door means her girlfriends push her towards it and for a moment she's ready to give in to temptation but turns away this shows her decision to remain in a limited sex life she's not ready her friends in the dreams an unknown number just sex me that's weird she's not ready her friends in the dreams are the sexually adventurous one who push her to be more like them i don't know why they're letting me to read this okay interesting my incense just turned off just like that really weird My ear is ringing like crazy. What the heck is going on? Huh. Wonder who is doing this. Okay. So, do, 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 do. doors are used to dream imaginary related to areas of the mind. When a dream visits a certain area of your memory, for instance, it can visualize the area of being behind a door. Hand in hand with finding unexplored rooms. No, that's nothing to do with that. The dream is trying to act like you're an intruder. Well, this like a common dream theme involves barging through the door or into a scene where you are unwelcome. Mm. The dream characters act like you are an intruder. And they are right. You have entered an area of your psychic that you are not ready to access. You have more maturing to do first. I didn't feel unwelcome. I feel like they felt like safe that I got them out of whatever situation they were. So no, locking a door can symbolize keeping something out of your life. Unlocking a door can symbolize getting access to something that had been denied to you. Yes, here, it was a front door. The front door of your home is the boundary between your private life inside the home and your public life outside of it. Therefore, dreams featuring your front door can connect with subjects of privacy, intrusion, and what you share about yourself publicly. Okay, so a man dreams about going to his new home. No. So as he sits down, no. The dream is about the subject of privacy and solitude. The dreamer is reclusive and entering a stage of life where he can keep people out of his life. A stage he realizes by moving into a new home. The front door symbolizes the boundary he sets up against intrusion into his life, and the action at the front door symbolizes his frustration at being unable to keep people out. It's not particular people, it's people in general, symbolizes a distinct white figure. So I feel like there, maybe that door could mean like a boundary, like creating boundaries around, you know, to protect this child, to protect yourself, to protect this person. Like there is a need for boundaries, you know what I'm saying? And standing up to those uh, specific boundaries, okay? Yeah, so door could be that. But definitely if you have to protect a child or this man male or something like that or somebody is protect someone here. I'm going to confirm retire. What the heck is going on? First, I'm going to see where the soul journey is. Actually, you know what? This can give us more detail. I didn't want to make this too long, but it's going to be long. It's just what it is. Okay, so the thinking woman. We have a thinking woman. All right, spirit. Angels and ancestors, please let us know what we need to know about the situation, this dream about this main male. So this main male, I think they're thinking about this woman who is an angel of balance. Okay. Could be an earth angel, or I feel like this man male sees this woman, this thinking woman, very smart, very, uh, it feels like an empress here, or the queen of swords, or the queen of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like uh, their confidence, they're trying to gain their confidence right now. The healer of ages. This could be someone, a healer. Yeah, this person. Yeah, they finally, I feel like they're finally walking away from someone, this man, male. Okay? Or they had to. Again, an earth angel, someone in the spiritual realm had to help them out. This man, male, and this child. Angel of Balance and the third chakra, Kinjo Shamuel. So something about the solar plexus, like something, somebody targeting their finances. They're trying to make them insecure. 
uh, trying to keep them on balance, um, kind of keep them stuck. But I feel like the healer of all ages, this person could be a healer or you both could be healers. But there's a child here involved. Oh, that's too much spirit. Yeah, there's some indecision. I feel like this is something. Yeah, the sixth chakra. Yeah. Oh, my God. The thinking man. There it is. The thinking man, which is the man male here. So, yeah, I feel like this person is finally listening to their intuition. That's why we saw they're walking away because this person is walking away from whatever was keeping them. Yeah, that warm, that toxic. Uh, it could be a belief system. It could be a, a toxic mother. Someone very uh, not nurturing or motherly. And I feel like this person with the healer age just sees someone as a healer. Someone, Some of you, it could be that this person sees you as a healer or that you could heal, help them heal him and this child from this toxic, abusive situation. I feel like they're listening to the intuition because, see, they're thinking that like, they know that you're their main uh, person. I feel like in the past, they made a mistake. Door to value. This could be someone who is financially well off you know or someone who works really hard and also the temple like someone spiritual interesting yeah that's it a lot of envy and jealousy in this energy because you're meant to have this generational wealth with this person this person has a lot of anxiety or this person is, has a lot of anxieties because they try to jeopardize this person with money Trying to keep this person all tied up. But your person is tragedizing. Yeah, there is someone here trying to keep this person um, kind of stuck in a situation. Spirit, please confirm the main male. What's going on with this main male spirit? Yeah, see the empress. They're in love with an empress. Now, is this emperor in a good vibration or in a high vibration? Because we have the lover's card and we have... Oh, oh my God. I can't make... I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I can't make this up. The empress just flipped back and it went and it's like it's literally... I can't... Like I'm trying to touch the... I wish I could show you. It's a stuck in the, in the solar plexus. It went like this. So you see this person is a very toxic empress. It's very similar to dream two, by the way. This uh, dream three but not not surprised it cannot be related see the empress in reverse and the third chakra this is someone who abuses could be the masculine in this masculine like very abusive and toxic women mother yeah i can't make this up the nine of swords someone who creates a lot of anxiety that's what we saw the anxiety card before nine of swords anxiety fears creating all types of conflict and stuff like that like a complete burden yeah, seven of wands. This person is uh, creating boundaries around this person because they're not a good person, okay? This this is not a good energy. Maybe that's the person who has that, who pretends to be loyal, that dog with the warm inside, someone who has a lot of entities, very dirty, nasty entities, okay? Uh, Empress in reverse is someone who's not loyal, okay? Someone who cheats, someone who's controlling and manipulative, okay? Four of Swords, I feel like this person wants to leave this to rest. So the Page of Swords, uh, Page of Cups here, they want to apologize. Yeah, they want to, uh, they see you as someone very beautiful, very uh, like a leader, right? And I feel like this person knows that they, the Three of Swords, like they broke your heart here. Or I feel like this person is heartbroken. Yeah. Like they want to. Uh, start communicating with you or talk fast or something. I don't know. There's something fast here that they want to do. They want to let you know that they ended this situation. Like something here is dead. Like it's dead. Okay? Dead. I'm here dead. And it has to be. Like this person was very jealous and envious or oh, what's something that it hasn't even happened yet or I don't know if this father figure had this child with another woman or something or with this empress in reverse and they're this person is horrible and now they're thinking of somebody who actually could be a better mother yeah there's a lot of conflict uh chaos here in this relationship like that's what's going on 
that's what the envy card is there five of wands is conflict competition yeah five of pentacles yeah somebody's gonna be left out in the cold like lack when poverty is stuck because what they've done yeah nine of pentacles four of cups i feel like somebody worked to keep this person stuck though like to keep them in a in a feeling rejected or yeah justice thank you spirit yeah see justice because this person had like has the ten of pentacles somebody with like generational wealth somebody yeah they try to jeopardize this person generational wealth this is a copycat this person probably lie about who this person this man male was interested in this thinking woman or something like that with the ten of pentacles it's like this person was destined to have be a healer or someone of the ages a teacher an educator someone who inspires other people this could be an influencer somebody who has a child or they want to take care of a child maybe it's not even their child but they want to take it away from this woman because this woman is horrible this is a good man they they has money there this person probably got with this male because of his money but now I feel like this male fall in love or decide fall in love with this child. Like he wants to take care of this child, you know, but it's not their child, but he wants to take care. He wants to have custody of this child. Okay. This is what the, I feel like this is what is going on. Like, and I feel like they're afraid of the rejection because they're coming with a package, right? And maybe you're a female who is single, who, but I don't think, I think they're looking at things from their, I feel like this is part of something that they're this person is putting on their head because they're a horrible mother yeah see the king of cups this is someone very empathetic very um yeah seven of swords yeah someone lie here Ugh, someone lied yeah the ace of sword i can't make this up i make uh, some someone lie someone lie this collaboration the three of pentacles like working together working with someone like some truth and clarity is coming out here because this this uh yeah you see the magician there's magic here about this emperor the emperor usually is a father this emperor here yeah the will of fortune is here something is i'm hearing tables are turning here what goes around comes around there was some magic or something done here I don't know if this King of Cups did something, lie about something, did some work together with somebody or something like that. Because the Emperor is someone, you know, could be very cold and kind of cunning, you know, kind of controlling, manipulative. They were trying to manipulate a situation here or something like that. I don't know if this is like a father figure or it could be the ex, the father of this child too. They did something there's a lot going on here wow the seven of pentacles and the king of wands king of wands is a leader the eight of swords there's a lot of fears around here seven of pentacles you reap what you sow the higher fund wow all right spirit what is going on with this man male and this child what is what is their outcome? The moon. The secret. Yeah, it was destined. They have to walk away. There's also a father, a very toxic father here, who lied about something. It could be magic. magic. They could have created something for this person not to leave, or not to leave with this child, or to stay stuck with this karmic uh, person. It could be the father of that karmic, for sure. Yeah, see the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of burdens, creating burdens, conflict, right? But then again, Ten of Wands also is a good, uh, you know, it's a good omen too because it's the end of a tough cycle, right? It's the end of, of carrying so much burden and like just, you know, but also could be that burnout. Someone's burnout. Yeah, the High Priestess here. Yep. Yep. 
So they could, could be creating a lot of, this thinking woman could be a high priestess, but also the high priestess talks about secrets, right? Um, occult, doing things in secret, doing things in the dark, right? And strategizing, right? About this new beginning, the Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups. There could be a third party situation or someone doing something. There could be three people, say, I'm hearing six. Yeah, this person must have a lot of money. Have a lot of all those people. Every always something about money. When someone has money, it's like more trouble. Especially if the person is a good person, empathetic, with the King of Cups here, someone who's very giving, very loving. Who this person literally wants to take a child that is not even their child as their care. They want to be their caregivers of this child because they see. But not only that, this person had lived with parents who are toxic as fuck as well. So he doesn't want to see that child what he went through. Feels like Batman kind of thing. It's a weird, but that, no wait, Batman didn't have that toxic parents. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying like, I don't know. Maybe they're, this child's parents die or something like that. And maybe they're in the foster care. It could be that. Maybe this toxic empress, they're seeing that that person is in their care it's someone very toxic you know what i'm saying it could be that and they don't want that person to grow up like that and they want to yeah they want to bring justice they want a long term they want to they want to give that person healthy family and why not you know what i'm saying why not right they want to take them away from all these uh, not loyal people and stuff like that. All these people who have like demon entities inside because all the witchcraft that they've been doing and stuff like that. Like some truth and clarity is here. I'm not, I'm not, can't make it up. This person is strategizing because they want a new beginning with somebody else and they want to bring this child. Three of Cups. That could be that too. This person wants a new beginning but they don't know how they can tell this person by the way i have a child i have adopted a child i want to raise this child would you be okay with that well it's on your head your person the six of wands talks about success okay it's going to be okay okay your person is also very empathetic very loving and see you want to offer this ace of cups right this you see this person as your light your your son and stuff like that it's gonna be successful, okay? It's gonna be good. Your person is gonna understand, but you have to be honest. You have to be vulnerable. And I feel like you're somebody who usually get what you want. You're not usually vulnerable and stuff like that. Well, you can't buy love. Period. <laughs> you gotta be honest. You gotta be vulnerable. You gotta tell this person why you wanna keep this child. Why you think, you know, also that too. I don't know if what you've done to this thinking woman who is an earth angel because I feel like there's some guilt and shame or something that you have done in the past. Maybe you rejected them or something and you went for another person, right? And then this person had a child and blah, blah, blah. You have your own history of that. But you know that your person, you rejected your person or something and now you want to come back, but you're coming back with an extra package, right? You got to be honest, okay? And... That person has the right to say no, but I'm letting you know that this person has love for you. They see a spirit six success with this relationship. You're meant to, this person is meant to be this nurturing mother for this child too, okay? It's not just about you, okay? But yes, if you feel called and guided to, I feel like with the sun, there's a lot of happiness, joy, new beginning with the ace of cups. Uh, I'm hearing you need to give that cup to yourself first um give yourself some love some nurturing because this was a tough cycle you also have to heal from this toxic relationship also let your child this child have that connection with you first so that you have that bond with this child okay the five of swords yeah and again it confirms the envy energy here and the five of wands and the five of pentacles yeah you have a lot of jealous envious energy here you see how this child and that too you have to make sure that this child knows how to protect himself See how this child is like, maybe was playing with swords and stuff like that. And look at the penguin, how it's telling her like, come on, really? You see how they, they caught themselves? They're trying to learn how to fight, you see, with other kids and stuff like that. But they kind of like oblivious. Make sure you're teaching them the right thing, you know? Could be a little traumatic to come out of 
a toxic family relationship like that yeah the six of swords you're being guided to move away from rough water to calmer waters yeah from this situation just with the five of swords i feel like there's a lot of envious and jealous energy about this okay yeah you're building your strength some of you are building the courage and strength because you've been juggling you juggle this queen of cups there it is see why the devil look at that the devil has been there you had a lot of negative influences trying to jeopardize this connection with this queen of cups and you juggle this queen of cups perhaps you were also dealing with some some addiction something like that or entertaining negative low vibration and there is a child that came out of that some of you could be a doctor some of you you actually had a child with a very toxic karmic mother okay you need to be honest you have to be honest yeah see the nine of wands three of wands you see expansion you see new beginning with this person yeah this is your wish fulfillment this person has always been your wish fulfillment here the five of cups some of you are grieving and crying and sad about this love this new beginning that you want with this person or some of you as your that ex person is like they're grieving and sad because they cannot believe that their shit didn't work out like this love spell they did something here to stop your new beginning yeah but you're in the nine of swords you want to communicate with the person the truth yeah somebody who's very attractive this thinking woman is very beautiful they could be single or maybe there could be parents too don't know yeah the king of pentacles here the eight of cups five of cups hmm page of cups you are very loyal and you're very stable and balanced and very generous yeah but i feel like you had to walk away from something and this person is very sad and grieving that you're walking away the lover's card yeah they're walking away from something that you know you made your decision like you want a new beginning with somebody else somebody who is not abusive and toxic and actually is nurturing and not vindictive or controlling or manipulative you know what i'm saying no do you want to walk away from the lovers could be a gemini or somebody who to your soulmate the two of cups here yeah you want a new beginning with this um with your real soulmate high level soulmate here yeah and you've been guided to that dream was literally that it's like that person is not loyal. that person has a lot of demonic entities in them and they're not good for you or that child okay so literally that i fact that i ran out got the child first and then this guy Fred or whatever but it could it's just a specific person but that man like it was and then those dogs five there's a lot of synchronicities and then the disappearing of that dog from those five things and then another dog coming out but this dog was not there was something not right about it you know but i literally have to change my my view from normal view to infrared to see what was inside this dog and it was disgusting yeah see family curse thank you spirit someone is using magic to place generational curses on you and your family see out of jealousy i can't make this up the envy card came out and then the jealousy this person is so jealous someone is jealous of who you are and the accomplishment you've made so you see you're somebody very balanced somebody who's who has money who works hard and yeah they only with you because of your money and i'm so sorry for that i hate when that happens because people should never have to deal with that like that's not fair at all but some people are just disgusting yeah you see love theft magic someone's doing magic or spell word to take your love from you yeah that thinking woman that queen of cups they want they want that person to find somebody else that's the magic and also for you like they're trying to find it because i'm hearing if they if you can't be with me you can't be with nobody else this person is sick in the head by the way yeah withdrawal you're moving on path you're moving on past those who have issues with you it's no longer matter to you i'm hearing your vessel you could be dealing with that your vessel spirit here candle magic someone has been doing candle magic work on you as the flame burns their energy and incre increases you need to be cleansing your energy okay and one of those cleansing energies self-care is creating boundaries okay you need to block and ghost whatever the fuck 
if you're in the justice system and you're trying to protect this child, like, yo, do whatever you can because that's horrible. That's passed down to generation to generation, that toxic, abusive mentality. You're breaking a cycle with that child for that child's lineage as well, okay? That child could be, um, could be anointed. Yeah, I feel like this child is anointed. Yeah, block removing. Whatever was holding you back has been or been removed. I can't make this up. As soon as you chose the child and decided to let go of this karmic shit and go towards this earth angel who is the person you're meant to be with in the beginning, the curse is broken. You broke the curse. Yeah, backfire. I can't make this up, baby. Dark energy send your will will be turned back on to sender. It fell attempt. See? Right away. As soon as it, yeah, obsession. This person is obsessed with you. Like obsessed with you and your person too. I feel like if your person is a public, is in the public eye or has a platform or something, this person is watching them. Someone is so someone is so obsessed with you to the point where they cannot stop thinking about you. Wow. See? A vampire energy. Someone is smoothening your energy for their own advantage. Yeah. Ugh. I can't make this up. I told you, this is what the dog looked like. Spiritually transmitted disease. Be careful. Someone courting or dating you is dealing with a lot of energetic burdens and dark entities. The Empress is not loyal. In reverse, they're fucking other people while they're fucking you. And if this is this mother of this child, I'm telling you, they're not loyal. Wow, that's crazy. See, divine protection. You are being protected by divine beings. They see what you are unable to see and cut it off before it can reach you. That's what I'm telling you. This dream is specific for someone like you need to walk away. Don't have sex with this person. Okay? Because, yeah, I don't know. Like, protect your energy. If you're feeling, listen, this is how, like, I don't know. They're showing me something. If you feel, if you're together with this woman, okay? And you know this woman is like constantly out, they don't work or something like that. I feel like the Empress is a lazy ass fuck. Empress in reverse is a lazy ass fucking bitch, okay? I'm sorry with the word, but I'm just saying. They're fucking lazy, okay? They don't do shit, okay? They want everything to be done for them. They don't fucking work. They don't want to work. They don't want to do shit. Especially if you have money, forget it. They want you to pay for everything. They don't want to take care of anything. They don't want to take care of children. They don't want to do anything. They just want... Being shopping, doing nothing, taking care of themselves. This is someone, I feel like someone who does their face and stuff like that. And I don't know, Botox or something like that. I don't know what the fuck. Someone who's into uh, surgery or I don't know, plastic surgery, whatever the fuck. They do their boobs, their ass, all that shit. But you, they don't pay for it. You pay for it, right? They don't have, they don't work. They don't have a, a career. They don't have nothing. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This person is going to get a rude awakening because they also been taking your money and doing all kinds of stuff, right? Magic, all that fucking shit, also the same thing. They are a cheater, they cheat on you, okay? Yes. Also, this is why they don't take care of their ch a child. Some of you, you could, uh, you need to do a DNA test. That child could not be yours, maybe it's not your child, okay? But even though I feel like this main male, even if that child is not yours, you want to take care of that child. You don't care. You say, no, that's my child. That's my kid. I don't care if it's blood related or not blood related. That's awesome. You are a real man. Okay? Especially if you know that this woman is fucked up, that they're not good mothers and stuff like that. You don't want to let... Like, I feel like this mother is like, oh, I'm ready to put in a foster home because I can't take care of that child if you leave me. Right? There's some blackmail here too. Yeah? Yeah. Right? This is why the dream was like literally an angel taking you out of this situation and that door closed and taking the fucking thing out, speaking in some weird language and taking that fucking dog out of the way, outside. I feel like you have to be doing that. Like you have to close the door on this person. You have to take them out. As soon as you gain custody of this child, if you already have the custody, run, run. Take your child and get the hell away from this person, okay? All right, my people. I hope this was helpful. I think that's it that I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Bring you just justice. There you go. Bring you justice, clarity, and truth. I know it will because you're gonna speak your truth. Okay, you're gonna you're in that energy swiftly communication. You're gonna do this. Okay. Yeah, this person is doing something. A lot of things. 
very horrible. And if they have a family who is into that stuff, they're doing it too. But karma just is coming. All this retrograde is going to be a rude awakening for all these people who think all this stuff is going to be left on just like that. Okay? So karma is just for whoever needs to hear this message. Okay? I love you guys. Keep safe. Protect yourself. Okay? Take care. I love you. Enjoy this Lion's Gate portal. It's going to be sweet for those who... and. We'll take advantage of this energy. Others of you, I don't know. You got some, some talking to do with the most high. You know what I'm saying? You know your business. All right, guys. Sending you good luck. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.